What's going on guys? So I got an announcement to make and then I also have some surprising updates to make also in Put Shaft here. Um, so the announcement is that I'm excited to say that I'm getting sponsored by AGP Turbos this year. Um, I reached out to them and they said that they were willing to work with me for this year and it's going to be a year sponsorship with those guys. And uh, I wouldn't have picked them or reached out to them if I thought they didn't make decent quality parts. Actually, a matter of fact, that I was already planning on ordering parts from them to put on my car. So I don't want any discourage there about me just accepting parts and whatnot. To say I was going to buy them anyway, and then they're willing to help me out in the meantime. So that's great, and we can get the build progressing from there. Um... I also wanted to add that I'm going to have their website linked down below. So if you guys want to check them out, check out what parts they have. Um, I can tell you what I'm going to be putting on my car with them. A uh, big turbo kit. So that's their manifold, um, turbo, you know, all your coolant lines or oil lines. I'm not sure what turbo I'm going with yet, but etc. There. My fuel return setup is going to be from them. Injectors I'm getting from them. Um, any turbo accessories I'm getting from them just because it's easier they already got the kit made and everything to fit our cars so just wanted to let you know fully what I'm buying there and then you guys can go check them out part update is right now currently um, I'm waiting on parts is basically what it came down to be um, I have everything ordered no time to date or whatever you want to say is when they're going to be back in stock. So I ordered, I placed my big order like two months ago right now. So I've been waiting quite a bit. Still no word of when things are going to be back in stock. I had to cancel orders from companies that I reached out to just to get an update or something. And then six emails, eight emails, 10, 11, 12 emails go by, no response. So I'm like, okay, screw it, cancel that order. And I'm like, I find somebody else or I make my own part. So one of the things were a billet uh, tone wheel for my, uh, uh, crank over here. So I have it over here. I took the tone wheel off. I need to build it one for the harmonics that the motor might experience. I'm hoping that they're not too out of whack. Uh, I'm going to get micro balancing done and whatever else done with the crank and then the whole rotating assembly. But other than that, um, the billet tone wheel is just for insurance. So I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to show you a couple more updates around the garage and uh, go from there. All right, our first update here is going to be the uh, input shaft. So I just put new seals on it down here, up here. Um, and I also had it Cairo treated. So I'm hoping that having it Cairo treated, which is basically when they stabilize the atoms in the metal, um, they bring it down to like a negative 100 degrees with uh, liquid nitrogen. And it's there for so many minutes. And then they increase it slowly. And basically, it stabilizes the metal atoms. Um, and also... I'm going to try and protect the input shaft by taking all my power out of shifts. I'm also going to have a delay set from when I initially launch. It might be like a half a second delay until full boost comes on. Um, that's also going to try and preserve this from the launches. I'm still going to be launching at like, you know, 10 pounds of boost maybe, you know, maybe 8 pounds of boost. But not having it skyrocket to 30 pounds of boost off the hit would be uh, ideal so I'm gonna have that delay come in hopefully not break the input shaft uh, we went over that I had this set and bearings done there my crank over here guys I know this is not how you um, put a crank for storage but it's only there for a couple days now and then I got to take it off and put it back in um, but this is where the tone wheel goes and that's what I have to uh, hopefully source or get one made cams over there I actually just polish these things up so they're no longer horrible looking we come over here got my gas tank out it's a little dark Let's see if I can get a phone in there to show you guys what I did down here where's it at I put a bulkhead fitting in so I'm gonna have dash 10 line um, I'm doing external pump, so I'm going to have dash 10 go to a external filter and then go to external pump also. And you can see the bulkhead comes out. Where are we at? Where are we at? Somewhere is around here. It's right there. So I figured that's going to be easier than trying to mod 
the fuel canister, which is here also dark, but hopefully you guys can make that out as the fuel canister. Um, we did get a bug weld on here for my input pipes to accept the GM style intake sensor, uh, air intake, air temperature intake sensor. And then here's the old um, tone wheel. Actually, I bring these in light. So this transmission, these have little rollers or pins in them that I had to get welded. I forgot my stabilizer's not on. All right, hopefully I'm not too shaky, but you can see that I had them welded all the way around. I had both sides done. Also with this carrier or planetary gear set I had done. Both sides once again. I forgot I had my stabilizer off. So anyway, I think that's all the updates for this video. Um, I will surely keep you guys updated when I have updates. I think that's going to be it for this video. I apologize. I should have had my stabilizer turn on in my camera. But anyways, I see you guys in the next one.